maybe I don't know other traditions that embrace so fully this human journey. There is something that is so great and awesome that is beyond my limited human scope that I get to touch in these all love classes. I get to touch in a serious Tantra experience with someone who knows what they're doing. And that is what has changed my life. So, greetings, beloved. I am Sherry Teagle, and I've been doing some interesting work in the last 15 to 20 years. And I wanted to share a little bit about it with you today. I kind of got started on my journey very young by being raised Quaker and being, uh, uh, being uh, in a meeting of people that sat and waited for God to speak to them. So that was amazing. And that I was taught that it was the inner light, that we looked within to find the truth. We looked within to speak to God. And that was a beautiful foundation for me. And I kind of grew from there. In um, 2001, I became a Reiki master. I didn't really know what I was doing at the time, because <laughs> it takes all of about three or four days to become a Reiki master. And my teacher said, well, we've given you the basics. Now go out and learn. And that's what I did. And I taught Reiki for quite a while and learned a lot. And then got introduced to this amazing man named Patrick Ziegler. And Patrick had uh, snuck into the Great Pyramid of Giza in 1980. Something he had always wanted to do was spend the night in the Great Pyramid. And he did and got initiated with this amazing energy from the Great Pyramid and brought it out to share with us. And it's been amazing to see the kinds of uh, depth that folks can reach in these classes. I just hold the space. And that's really what I think most folks who do this work, this energy work, learn how to do. They hold the space and set an intention for your own healing. Um, the thing about all love is that you, it, it, is, it, it is heart opening and it goes deeply into who you are, into the beliefs that you have and knocks on the door of any of them that are really preventing you from unconditional loving or really, really awakening to that full loving self that you are, that you came in as. And Speaking of coming in, lots of these classes are chaotic and amazing because people are laughing, people are crying, people are screaming. And um, as someone I know said that it was the weirdest experience he ever had in his life. <laughs> and, and yet you get the opportunity to get unstuck. The places that have been in you that have prevented you from really touching joy, from really kept you from ecstasy, they start to get moved away. By the end of even one evening, folks feel very bonded to each other. They feel very comfortable with each other. I can't tell you how um, special and different it is to be in one of these classes. It's just amazing. And it, and it approaches you in the way that you need to be approached. It is... I think it's basically like grace embodied. It really is. It's beautiful. Most people think Tantra and it's all about sex. It's not. It's about meditation. It's about waking up to the truth of who we are. That's what Tantra is about. That to me is what all love is about. In New Zealand, I was able to experience with Patrick's wife, Tantra massage. And so I could, she was a very powerful healer. She carried the all love energy beautifully. And so I was able on the table with massage and sexual touch to go into ecstasy and also into screaming release if I needed to. I was able to go into the pain. Um, when I first heard of this, 
with Patrick I, and that he was also offering me not just the all love retreat, but the all love Tantra retreat. I immediately thought, oh no, this is going to ruin him. Uh, this is just wrong. Sex and religion or sex and all love and oh, it's wrong, wrong, wrong. So he said, well, ask this fella. He just was there and I went, sure, of course he's gonna like it. <laughs> he's a guy, guys always like that stuff. And I said, what was it like? And he said um, that the first session he had with Natalie was terribly painful. That you store a lot of your pain in your lower chakras. And that that was what came out in, into, in this first experience with him. That it was in a lot of pain. And I said, what about the second? And he got this shy little grin on his face. And I went, I'm in. <laughs> so I decided that I was going to have this Tantra retreat with the all love and I'm so glad I made that choice. I have watched people walk into the classes rigid and as they have done the class and continued to work with the class that rigidity starts to wash away and they become more at ease with themselves. Um, I guess that one of the big experiences was mine in the sense of having gone to New Zealand and I was surrounded. Natalie was running a goddess um, experience in the home, in the lower level, which is where I stayed. And so I was walking around with all these naked or half naked, glorious looking Hollywood style women. And I felt, oh my God, I've got to hide this body. Even though I'm pretty comfortable with this body and always have been, I decided I'd stay covered up because I didn't match this. And all my life I had, have felt not good enough because I'm a big woman. Now this was back when I would love to be the size I was. I would kill to have that body back again. <laughs> well, maybe not kill, but I would love to have that gorgeous, young, vital body back. And I have always been shamed for this size. I came back from New Zealand and I learned to love myself unconditionally and appreciate this body, this big body as it was, to think it's gorgeous, it's sexy, I'm amazing. I suddenly flipped from feeling not good enough and no one's ever going to love me in this body to they will be lucky to ever get their hands on me. <laughs> to really appreciating who I was and beginning to love it. And this attracted the lovers that I had always wanted. All of a sudden, men are coming up to me, gorgeous young men are coming up to me going, hey baby, you know? And, um, and I ended up finding the lover that lit me up and met me in so many ways, in an equal way. To me, Tantra is about vulnerability, transparency, and intimacy. And that is the base of what Tantra is really about. And yes, I can teach you to have a bigger orgasm, and yes, that's a lot of fun. And I think that the biggest part of it is the whole point of the sexual work in Tantra is to use that energy to propel yourself into that beyond state. That's, that's what it's about. It's a tough journey if you're doing the real work. It's like you become real. You get in touch with the part of you that transcends just one life. Yes, I'll be at Karma Fest on the 18th and 19th of May. So if someone wanted to talk to you more about this? Yes, I'll have a table there. And I'm also doing on Saturday, I'll be doing a class um, of introduction to the sacred sexual. So you learn about Tantra and that's at 4.30. And you can look me up on the schedule. And then on Sunday, I will be doing the all love class at noon. So you can experience both of the mainstay of what I've been sharing recently. Uh, I also was certified with Matrix Energetics and Psyche and the combination of all that. I never know what's going to come through. I can concentrate just on Reiki if that's all folks want, but 
Sometimes that all love energy slips in there. 